Today, we take a brief look at a complex and interesting subject. Horror games. An experience of terror and crisis practically unrivaled, placing you into the situation directly. A genre with a strange, inconsistent history. Only a handful of major gems might exist over the course of several years, but each individual game is powerful and unique. What are some of these gems? What makes them so scary? And why are they so rare? Horror games today are quite different from their origins. The earlier but still well-known examples would start with Resident Evil. Released in 1996, it was also one of the first to take a fear-based approach to the supremely popular zombies theme. Clock Tower was probably the first and last to approach the horror genre like this for quite the long while. Horror was a complement to the cliché action shooters and zombie fighting. However, a new era was dawning, one mostly focused on a new treatment for horror games. The indie game explosion. The earliest major pioneer of this specific resurgence would ultimately be Slender the Eight Pages. Released in 2012 as a computer game, its popularity grew like a wildfire, featuring simply the player, their flashlight, and the internet horror story character Slenderman. You were tasked with finding eight pages, on which a survivor of some sort has left cryptic, desperate messages. The more pages you found, the more aggressive they became. The atmospheric sound picked up in intensity, starting with the first page as a deep, ominous drum playing in the distance, eventually picking up to howling dark winds. Oh, and were you to lay your camera's lens on the cryptid urban legend for too long, you were guaranteed to meet a terrible fate. Don't look back at what's chasing you. Just run.